Um, mighty interesting taste in music. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have a nice uh, weld on there. And there you go. It's not too bad. I mean, it could be neater, but it, it's quite well sealed onto it. And I did you did do it. Well, actually, I welded it while it was in the lathe head, so it's pretty true. Nice. Look. I don't, you will be able to tell obviously, but you know, look at that. See? Uh, doggy. But what I'm going to do, because I'm having trouble, what I did is I put it on it, onto the, the flywheel, right? I thought, oh, I'll start the engine, it won't be that far out, and it just straight off at an angle, and it caught the starter motor, <laughs> bent it like a frigging banana on the plate. So, and the engine cut out, which is lucky, because it could have been quite bad. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'll just take the flywheel off, which is only held on by six bolts, and if I can put the flywheel into the lathe's uh, head, which I might be able to do, although it's a bit big, and then true it up by b bolting it onto it while it's in the lathe head, or something like that, so that at least I can do it without having to, you know, break things, and it's under control. I can do it here, because I can start, and you can see, look, I'll put this on. See, it's on, you know, but it's uh, obviously that bit there. I took the part plug out, right? And I'm just putting on the starter mode. You can see that, apart from the, the actual model of the vehicle, uh, the, the engine itself, yeah. So you can see it's wobbling, and obviously that's no good, because that's just too much wobble. It's going to bash the blooming bearings about and clamp them. Okay, but at least it's there, and uh, it's quite nice to be able to run the engine without, you know, having to start it, because that's a pain in the arse. And another thing, of course, I can put Peterborough control on that to turn it slowly. But it's really difficult to turn it by hand to true it up, so I'm best off taking a flywheel off and uh, truing it to the flywheel. Although I don't know if it will fit in the vise. But that's the sort of thing we're talking about. Obviously, I've welded it onto the cage, right? And so that means that we can oh, just assemble it. So you got it. <coughs> Here we go. Yep. Yeah. And then the ring gear on the outside, like that. We've got one without me onto. No. Tell you what, let's pull that out because it's easier to just put it on like this when it's separated. There we go. See, ring gear on the outside. There you go. And so, what we're going to do is lock the ring gear, right? And then that means when that's locked, obviously, when we turn the shaft, this shaft, then that will spin up like it did when it was in the lathe. And this engages with the, uh, with the bearing in there. And uh, that's it. And then we should be okay. Yep. Dinner time. <clears throat>